Hey everyone, I'm Sam from BioCosplay. Today we're taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Gear 5 Luffy from One Piece. I'll also be comparing this to the Raid on Onigashima SH Figure Arts Luffy. You'll hear me referring to that one as the previous release or the first release a few times throughout the review. So that's what I'm talking about. I haven't made it super far into One Piece, so I haven't seen his Gear 5 form in the anime or manga, but my wife loves One Piece. She's all caught up with it, so she's getting all the figures. I think this one looks pretty cool though, so I'm excited to take a look at it, especially since this one has some new bendy limbs that look like they could be neat. Here's a look at the packaging. It looks like the usual One Piece packaging. This one has purple accents. Got a picture of the figure on the front. You can see those new jointless elbows. We'll see how those work later. So this Monkey D. Luffy, Gear 5 down here. Monkey D. Luffy on the side with that same picture. Shows off some of the faces on this side of the package and then some poses on the back. Here he is out of the package and I think he looks really good. The hair and effect part here have a nice flow to them. Overall he looks similar to the first Luffy release. I believe they share a torso at least and the shorts but it looks really nice in this slightly off-white color with the purple accent. The hair and effect part look really good. The shape kind of mimics each other, and the hair is a little bit reminiscent of the gum gum fruit with the swirls in it. This you can hinge up or down. He has a straw hat hanging off his neck. That's really nice. I know that's something people wanted with the first release. So it's good that it was included here. Hopefully future Luffy releases will have that as well. It would have been nice to have a wash over the white or some airbrushing, but the folds do capture the light and cause some shadows that does look nice. I think it's good that they went with an off-white rather than a bright white. This effect part wraps down and around under the arms here. It's actually in two little pegs uh, that had fallen out in the package, so you can unpeg that if you wish. But that will leave two little holes in his chest. The face looks really nice. The teeth are clean in there, as is the tongue and the inside of the mouth. He's got the little scar under his eye. They've been doing a great job on the faces. Going down to the torso, he has his scar. And then the three gold buttons are painted really nicely. Those are super clean. Got the purple sash. It is a different sculpt here. It's a bit longer and more flowy. I think it looks really nice. It has a good flow to it. The shorts visually are the same as the previous release, but it does have the hinge working on the back now. Why the hinge didn't work on the first release, it's unclear. Maybe they just didn't have it worked out yet. But hopefully this will help a little bit with articulation. Then to the legs, both the legs and the arms don't have joints for the elbows or knees. It gives him a bit of an adventure time look, I feel. So this is going to be a softer plastic, but it matches the rest really well. Then down at the feet, he's got the sandals. Those look good. So yeah, overall, I like the way he looks. I don't know much about this form, but I think it looks cool. On to articulation. Looking forward to seeing how these bendy arms and legs work. But first, the head will look up this much. That's with the neck. And we'll look down this much. We've got side to side tilt. It's on a ball peg at the neck and the head. So you can get it looking around however you'd like. So that's great. The hat is just hanging around the neck. If we pop off the head. You can then remove the hat if you want and use that for your other Luffy figures. I am really glad that they're using a double ball peg here. Sometimes they'll use a ball hinge on figures. don't remember if any of the One Piece ones use ball hinges or not at this point. His effect part has come unpegged a couple times. It's not a huge deal though. There are two hinges here so this can swivel up and down. No hinges on the lower part though. The arms will go up better than 90 degrees, so that's good. 
The shoulder joint is a ball hinge with a ball peg on the end. So you get rotation on the ball on the end there. And you can shift the arm around a bit. It can get looking a little bit disjointed like a Rebel Tech figure. But not a huge deal. I'm just going to go ahead and take off the effect part. Because I keep bumping it. For the elbows, we're going to try to bend this and see how much we got there. I guess about this much range, not quite 90 degrees. It's, it's kind of tough to bend. And I don't want to push it too far and break it or anything, but that feels like about where it'll go. It looks like there's a cut here, but that's not a swivel or anything. I think that's just where they glued the sleeve on. There's a ball hinge for the wrist. Coming down to the torso, it's a diaphragm. It'll bend forward this much and back this much. Then with the waist, the bend forward about this much and back this much. It's not the greatest range bending forward. It's not terrible though. I don't remember what the previous Luffy's was, but I'll assume it's pretty similar. And I brought out the previous Luffy. It's actually different because the first Luffy release had a hinge at the waist here and the diaphragm and then the ball peg at the waist, but they've removed this hinge. I would say the range is pretty comparable though. Maybe s slightly more limited on the Gear 5. But I think they wanted a more seamless look overall with Gear 5. The chest might be a little bit smaller as well. I think he's a bit more narrow. At the waist there's also rotation. You get that at the diaphragm as well so you can rotate him however you'd like. And then there is some tilt. So pretty decent with both joints. This sash is on a swivel. So that'll move out of the way. The jacket is a soft overlay. So this shouldn't get in the way too much. At the hips, these will go out. Not very much. So these pants actually are a bit different looking at it now. Because there's no joint at the hip. So the first Luffy see the joint here at the hip that let him do pretty wide splits gear five not as much well, maybe if we force it a little this does seem to be a bit softer so you can jam the the leg into the pocket basically but not quite as good range I don't know if he needs to be doing the splits though. And then due to this overlay, you can see the section comes down and tucks into the pants. So you'll have to make sure that's tucked in when you're articulating it or it can get popped out like that. There is rotation at the thigh. The leg will kick forward. This much. If it's not super smooth, you kind of have to force it into the overlay a little bit. And then back. This much. But when the leg's back, you do have this kind of pocket flap sticking out. Then down at the knees. Hopefully this bendy joint will work a little better than the arms. It's a little thinner. This will come back. That much? I think. I tried to just bend it all, all the way around. So you can, you could straighten out the shin a bit if you want, but you can get him 
with the Adventure Time noodle leg if you want. Is the pant leg useful at all? Not really for this one. It doesn't really bend at a sharp enough angle for that to have gotten in the way. That would have been nicer on the previous release. <laughs> there is a swivel in the pant. And then for the feet, these will go forward this much, back this much, and then no toe hinge on this one. And he does have an ankle rocker. So overall, different and sometimes less articulation than the first Luffy release. This one. Whether or not it's a bad thing, I'm not sure. It does give him the seamless look, which I assume is a, a little more important for Gear 5. I'm not sure. I think they could have gone just with the previous pants and arms, though. I don't know that the bendy joint was super necessary. Because he does have swappable arms, I'll show in a moment. But I don't think these were... The joints weren't terrible in these. They were pretty well sculpted. And then the pants. I kind of like the look of these pants a little bit more. Just because you have the sculpted ledge here. Plus they limit the articulation. So it's, it's fine overall. I think it's... You'll still be able to get him into poses. It's just comparing him directly to the previous release. It makes it feel a little bit more flawed. Another difference I'm noticing here is this release had little cuts on the shirt. Like little relief cuts there. The new one doesn't have that. I do prefer it without the relief cuts. For accessories, the first accessory we have are the long swappable arms. Those are going to pop off at the ball joint. I'll just do that on camera or attempt to. Oh, this is actually a double ball hinge. I thought that was a ball joint, but nope, it's a hinge. And then there's a little peg hole in there. We'll just pop this one on. Hopefully I might have to pop it on off camera. Here the arms are on the figure. These are pretty great. I love effect parts or anything that shows off a character's powers, so I think these are pretty cool. And these also are bendy. And these bend way better than the other arms. I do find this, this effect part on his back a little bit annoying. Just because it keeps popping out on me. I wish it was a little bit tighter in the chest pegs. No. All sorts of bending on these bendy arms. These are great. So these arms are really well done, the legs are fine, the arms that come on him in the package I don't love, they're okay, they just, I don't think they're worth the, the lack of articulation. I wish they just had the, the previous arms. These new arms though, I hope they include with Luffy's going forward, it would have been great if the original release had these. For faces, we have the one that comes on him in the package, which I think is great. And then four alternate faces. This one with the eyes and tongue popped out, which is very amusing. A smiling one with the teeth showing. An angry one with the mouth slightly open. And then I'm going to assume this one's also an angry one, but with a bigger mouth. These are all well done. Everything's painted on them very cleanly. Overall, they look great. I love this one with the eyes poking out. Here's a better look at the eyes popped out face, so you can really see the sculpt on the tongue and the eyes. This one's really silly. I like it a lot. 
He also comes with this alternate head. I believe this is for when he's turning into Gear 5. This looks really nice. It's airbrushed on the end of the hair so it fades into white. It's sculpted well. And you can see the face peeking out a little bit in there. For hands, these open hands come on him in the package. Also comes with fist hands. Open, more grabbing hands. And gripping hands. And these are for gripping his lightning bolt accessory. We love a lightning bolt accessory. This looks very good. It separates near the middle and then I'll try to slot this into his hand and peg that back together and he holds that well that looks really nice it's nice and translucent this looks great I didn't know he used lightning bolts but I love it I think it's done really well. It's super clear. He holds it well. The sculpt is nice. This is a good accessory. And then finally, he comes with a display stand. But this isn't the normal Act 4 display stands. This one's a little bit different. There's a hinge at the bottom here, going side to side, and then a forward and back hinge connected to that. Then a long clear rod with a hinge at the top, a little tiny clear rod, and then the hinge for the clampy bit. So there's a comparison to the Act 4 stands. I don't have the clampy bit on the end, but I'll give you an idea. The peg here is a little bit longer than the previous ones. The same kind of clampy setup. Oh, there's also a swivel at the top here in between these. So this can come off, I assume if they sell these later, or maybe this is an old design, I'm not sure. Always nice to have a display stand though, I'll have to use this a bit more uh, before I have a solid opinion of it. I wish more SH Figure Arts figures came with display stands though. Overall a good spread of accessories. I like the lightning bolt a lot, love a display stand, some silly faces, the bendy arms are great, default arms not so much. For size and comparisons, Luffy's standing at about five and three quarters inches to the top of the head and closer to six and a quarter inches to the top of the hair. And with the effect piece up, that'll get it closer to seven inches. Here he is next to the SH Figure Arts Luffy, along with the head that came with this Gear 5 Luffy, and the SH Figure Arts Yamato. Here he is next to Sanji and Zoro. Here he is next to Kaido. And for some domestic figures, here he is next to the NECA Last Ronin and Raphael and Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Nightcrawler. Overall, I'd recommend this to a fan of One Piece, but I do have some mixed feelings on it. Those mainly being the effect part around the shoulders falling off a little bit too easily. Whether or not that's gonna be QC or how all of them are, it's unclear. If you have this figure and yours falls off pretty easily or it stays pretty snug, let me know in the comments. The other thing is the default arms aren't great. They're fine, they get the job done. I don't know that the trade-off for the more seamless look is a huge benefit over the lack of articulation. The bendy arms, I think they nailed. And I do like when companies try new things with action figures, that's exciting to me. So on the one hand, I do like that they went for it, but also I wish it was a little bit better. And I personally like the previous shorts a bit more. That, that may be personal preference. I just prefer the look of the other joints. And there has to be a joint there anyway, so it's not like the ones on Gear 5 are seamless or anything. But you may like those better or worse. I don't know. Let me know in the comments which style of the shorts you prefer. Otherwise, I really like the overall look. The off-white looks really nice. I like the new flowy sash. All the faces look good. The hair looks good. The effect part on the back looks good. It just falls off a little bit too easily. And there's a straw hat that hangs from the neck. The long bendy arms are great. There's a really cool lightning effect part. There's a lot to like here. There's just a few things that hold it back a little bit for me personally. Let me know if you're going to be picking up this figure or if you already have. I hope this review helped you decide if you want to get it if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.